your ciphers. Section. Hello and welcome, everybody. Uh, we are to. finalizing Molly's character for Unmasked this evening. In my apparently. Ciphers are one time uh, use magical items. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah. Do we know what they are? Or can we just be well, like, and here's my magic? So, you, as you're walking around the world, uh, in the world of Unmasked, they're called mementos. Um, you'll notice an object that is glowing. And what a you, good movie. Uh, yeah. Sorry, and go ahead. you, you uh, as prodigies, you immediately know what they do. And you'll, and you'll pick it up and you'll go, oh shit, this isn't a memento. This is just radium. And then you'll have cancer. <laughs> all, of, uh, all of your masks are made up of a bunch of mementos stick to, uh, uh, stuck together. Um, yeah, you, you, you're, everybody's awakening was kind of the same. Uh, you started noticing magical items in the world. Then you made a mask out of them. Now you have superpowers. Hell yeah, I did. <laughs> Hell yeah, I did. Um, uh, all right. Also, I don't know if any... Are, is anyone in the room right now? I'm uh, checking. It's not even coming onto our channel. Oh, there we go. We have zero. Okay. That's okay. I want to show off my fuck you die when we actually have people to show off. I will so. let you know. But you're not... Yeah. But until there's people there... No. I don't I don't show up for less than 300 bucks a day. No. Nah, I mean, I do have a minimum for shows now. I've hit It's that. good. Yeah, oh yeah. I've I've had it for about a year. Um if for for a stage production, if I'm not getting paid $200 at the very least, then for the I, entire production? Yes, but also a lot of those are like depending on the amount of time that I put in. So if it's like a week long process and it's 200 bucks, I'll settle for that. You know, you know you're worth way more than that, right? Yeah, but okay. also Just checking. Just these, checking. No, I understand. Not neck work and I am very new in the scene. I understand. I know I am worth way more than that, but Unfortunately, I have to settle for that for now to build See, up I, I have very successfully not worked for equity minimum for, I don't know, a year and a half now. It's, it's really, it's worked out for me. Yeah, I can tell. <laughs> <laughs> but see, that has nothing to do with equity minimum. That has everything to do with me just, you know, not auditioning. Yep. Because acting is scary. Yep. Auditioning is scary. I've honestly, like, I've had this discussion with a bunch of my friends who have done a million amazing, successful productions, but they've been in the scene a lot longer than I have. They've made a name for themselves. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, oh, yeah, I don't accept less than a thousand. I'm like, I wish I could say that, but I've never made that much from a single thing. Are they are they still non equity? Uh, one of them is for theater, but not for film. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, because it's it's a lot more than a thousand per show. <laughs> I know. It's yeah. I know, I know. Trust me, if I could live that act life, I would. You will. You will. At some yeah, point. Yeah, if you want to, you absolutely will. Yeah, I just gotta. Be, I I have to do the non act stuff first to actually get people to see me and then yeah, move yeah, up. Yeah. So yeah. yeah, you never know. You'll you'll audition for just the right thing, and they'll need you and. You know, when the market tells you you're ready. I was very fortunate that uh, a certain local theater got caught doing a non-equity production when they weren't supposed to, and uh, had to turn everybody in the in the cast. <laughs> oh my god, that's hysterical. Yep. Yeah. Oof. I am not getting any numbers here. Uh, I saw like two people when I when I looked at it, but one yeah, of those also I, might be me. I was like me and you. So, um, if you wish to post the twitters, because I still don't have the password. Already did. Okay, great. Did you tag Dennis? I did not. You should tag Dennis. Please do. Give me give me a second. I'm I'm, I'm gonna post to the Instagrams. And Monty too, for that matter. And you frame it as a plug for them. I'm pretty excited that I can talk to nocturnal animals. And both in real life and in the game. And I can summon small creatures that persist in darkness to serve as my emissaries and servants. That's amazing. <laughs> so the troll smasher also is a Disney princess and can sing yes. to summon animals. Yes. Uh, Molly, <laughs> I expect a full Disney princess summon of the ah. Like I, I need that in my life, please, please. If C 
C Y P H E R. Thank you. C Y. And then Monty Cook is M O N T Y or M O N T E? I think it's M O N T E. Yes, it is. C O O K E? Yep. C Y. -Y. I mean, why? Why? Uh, Did all of you assign your power shifts? Oh, Jesus. What? No, what? All right. No, I knew it. I knew we had to go over that real quick. Oh, God damn it. No, 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 no. Super easy. Super easy. Jesus Christ. For... I think that was the one thing I That's remember. That's also 842. <laughs> the lady has a point. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, so. But see, what I really love about uh, about Cypher system is you can just you can just crank out characters. Like, no. <laughs> As somebody said earlier. Ooh. Ooh. Pretty dice. Uh huh. So basically, you uh, you have five points to spend, and they make you you're ba- you're permanently reducing the difficulty of all of the actions for something that is considered like part of your power, right? So, uh, do you want to be more accurate? Do you want to be more dexterous? Uh, do you want to heal faster? Oh. Um, more intelligent. That sort. Uh, more. A magical, resilient, um, do more damage or just stronger. Uh, and you can split that up however you want. <clears throat> do more damage. Okay. Do more damage. Uh, so, uh, yeah. So attack rolls and damage. Um, so you have, you can put all five of your points into one thing. If you want, you can put multiple power shifts into one ability. Oh, but the, or you could get five and have them be weak as hell. Right. Okay. Um, then so so damage uh, it increases your damage by three for whatever single attack you pick. So whichever one of your special like you have to pick one of your special abilities and just say that one does more damage. Um. I. Where, where is the list? List is right here. Uh, then I'm going to take <clears throat> intelligence. And what was the other one? Just single t- You have five points to spend, remember? Yes, but I'm going to put them in two. Okay. So, so single attack. Single attack. Okay. But when it says single attack, it means like one specific kind of attack. So where whichever would, one of your... Where would I put this? Uh, may I see your sheet? Yes. I went with uh, resilience and night ranger. I put three in one and two in the other. Where did you list them on your character sheet? Molly? Hmm? Where did you list them on your character sheet? I wrote them on this nice piece of paper because I didn't want to go to work to print things out. (laughs) So I looked at the sheet and then I wrote things down. Um, I guess put it in your notes, in the notes section. It just says intellect, defense rolls, and all knowledge, science, and crafting tests. What does that does that mean? I get advantage in that. That means the difficulty is reduced by one. Oh, okay. For each shift. Okay, then let me put it over here, and I'll put it as a trait, and I'll put minus one, so like minus one difficulty, since I already have patience, willpower, and discipline plus sure. one. Sure. Sure. Cool. Where do we record our power shifts? Um, you can either put it in the notes section or uh, as uh, skills. I'm going to take <clears throat> two points in perfect organism <laughs> and three points in resilience because Moppy Pippins is just really hard to kill. <laughs> All right. Perfect. Done. Um, okay, and then... So three additional points per shift, attack rolls and damage. What does that mean again? Uh, okay, so how many point, how many shift points are you putting into that attack? Uh, three. I'm gonna put two into intellect, defense rolls, and knowledge science. So that would make it minus two. For yeah. The difficulty. Yeah. On that. Cool. Yeah. Um, and so that means whichever attack you're choosing uh-huh. does an, does nine additional damage. What the fuck? That's a lot. That's amazing. 
How much armor do you have, Molly? For, versus might. I don't know. How would I know how much armor I have? Is it my might? No. No. You it's, don't have any armor unless you. Yeah, she would from from the stuff she picked. Yeah, she would. All right. So one of my things is specifically that because uh, it tells me what my like uniform is. Look up, look up, tough. Okay, so I'm gonna put. Is that like any time I make a single attack, it does that extra damage? No, you pick the attack. You when pick it's a, the attack. And yeah, it does like that. okay. Like if you look through your special abilities, whichever one of them is an attack. You, you're saying like, mm. you know, my laser blast, my eye beams deal nine additional damage, whatever it is. Oh, so like one type of attack, not necessarily any time you do an attack, you just Correct. pick one. Got it. Okay. So. Oh, we do have viewers. Hello, viewers. Hello, viewers. Howdy. Hi, viewers. Sorry we got started late tonight. Happy New Year. I don't see those attacks. I'll figure it out. So. Some of yours. I just don't see it right now. We're yeah. playing uh, Unmasked by Dennis Ditwiller, which is the Cipher System, which is apparently a game about um, not being able to figure out how the fuck to fill out your character sheet. <laughs> <sighs> I tried to send y'all PDFs hours ago. Yeah, yeah well, I looked at, I read them, and Molly then I got did it. Confused. Well, I literally didn't see it come in until I was on the road to get here. You so, just make a character sheet while you're driving. See, here's the thing. Gastrointestinal stress. Cipher, <laughs> Cipher system, and, and Unmasked in particular, is um, it is simple but not easy. That's fair. It is, it is like you, there are not that many things to fill out on your character sheet, and they are relatively simple by themselves, but... There's no quick way to go through it. Like you have, have to, plus one to armor. figure Wait, everything I have out. Plus one armor. Yep. As long as it's less than me. As long as as long as Moppy Pippins is the the better <laughs> armored. Okay, three additional points per shift, so it's plus nine damage to one single type of attack. Yep. So Great. Unmask is a uh, cipher system game. We'll figure it out. By the wonderful Dennis Detwiller. Uh, about uh, teenagers who have superpowers, and it's weird. And uh, it has, it's a cipher system game, which means I won't play it, but it's a Dennis Detwiller game, which means I have to. So <laughs> I will be caught in a quantum state of Schro Schrodinger's Gamer here the entire evening. I did this because I like cipher system, and I knew when I saw Mr. Detwiller's name on the book, I was like, Cameron will play this. <laughs> <laughs> He'll bitch the whole time, but he will yeah. play it. What yep. episode number is this? Oh, that's a real. We're not. We're not. Are we starting? Are we starting? Yeah, starting? Viewers. No. I not. know we have viewers, but, it, but like, are we ready to start? Uh, I am. In I fact, mean, ready. I I understand very little about this game still, but we'll figure it out. I'm sure. <laughs> Hopefully. Yeah, we'll figure it as we go. I don't think we need to know everything, right? It's gonna you know, be right fine. Up, it's gonna be fine. All right. Um. Yeah. Uh. The one. Give me one. Mm -hmm. Hand me the unmasked book, real quick, Cameron. I need. I love cipher games. They fucking page reference everything. And yet, here we are. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I say yes, Marissa. Yes. I must confess my obsession with your design. Will not rest. Will not unless I find a way to. More make than Marissa. When I hear that old song they used to play, yeah. Oh, yeah, we have a new game, guys. Uh, We've that been is inserting putting, putting my putting name. Nerissa into uh, various song lyrics. Mm. If you think of any song lyrics that could use a little touch of Nerissa in them, then feel free to put the uh, quotes in the comments section during this Twitch stream. I would love to go back and read them later. Please put them. When I saw Nerissa walk away. Okay. What did we have before? Uh, it was Imagine. We imagine, imagine actually works pretty well. Yes. Nerissa, all Nerissa. the people. Uh, I put it in for uh, some of the lyrics for me and my Dick the Musical. As so. Nerissa. No, it doesn't quite work for, for As My Guitar Gently no. Weeps. Yes, what? It would be 266. 266. Do you all have any questions about your characters? Oh, that... yes. But, but we're going to do those on air. Because we're like an hour late getting started yep. here. 
Sorry. Welcome to the Play Better Podcast. Tabletop played better. Episode 266. Once again, it's time for another Let's Play Better. This time out, Unmasked by Dennis Detwiller. The Cypher System. I'm Cameron McNary. I'm Molly McLennan. I'm Nerissa Hart. And I'm Ryan Seguin. And we are playing Unmasked, a Cypher System game by Dennis Detwiller about teenagers turning into superheroes after putting various garbage that they pasted together into a mask onto their face. Um, and yeah, that's about it. Uh, mm -hmm. if, if for the record, just to get a few things out of the way, first off, I know how you all are looking tremendously jealous at the mm -hmm. Play Better Podcast travel mug that my wife got me for Christmas, which uh, I know that those of you who are listening to the podcast can't see it, but you can hear it. And even that is enough to make you drool <laughs> based on how awesome this is. It does look high quality. It looks these, pretty great. These are available in our, um, what's this, what is it? It's the... Uh, uh, the Cafe Press Store. Our Cafe Press Store, yes. Play Better Productions, I believe, is the, the, the yes. Cafe Press Store. Yes. Mm -hmm. And you can get all kinds of things printed on there. The second thing to clear up is, uh, yes, um, those of you that are familiar uh, with the podcast, I do hate the Cypher system. Um, just to get that out of the way, you know, cipher system is, of course, where you are a uh, adjective noun who verbs, and uh, I am a disgruntled asshole who hates the cipher system. Um, but I am playing it because it had Dennis Detwiller's name on the front of it because I know it will make Ryan happy. Yay! I'm going to attempt to set aside my usual impulse to ruin everything at the table because I'm personally mm. not inclined to what we're doing. Um, as well as that has served me in the past, uh, I've, I've been, you know, I'm trying something new. I'm gonna, I'm gonna mix it up a little bit. New year, new you. <laughs> new year, new you. Happy New Year, everybody! By the way. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I could go on about my problems with the cipher system, but uh, let's see how it works before I vomit all over it. Ryan, take it away. So. All of you, it is, night, it is November 1986. All of you are teens in Long Island, uh, and you have... I believe it's on Long Island. Uh, alternate universe. <laughs> You're in it. In it to win it. We're inside the island. Uh, we are actually on lengthy peninsula. <laughs> um, Short continent. <laughs> uh, yeah, so... And at one... At some, at, one point recently, uh, you started noticing objects around you in your everyday life, seemingly otherwise uh, normal objects, that were glowing. And a voice in your head telling you to make a mask out of it. Uh, after following that impulse and stitching together a mask that you can wear out of these glowing <laughs> objects, you now have the ability to take on a masked form. You have superhero-like powers. Uh, the world does not know that you exist. Um, God, it's... Tell me about it. Junior high was so like that. <laughs> um, that was 1986, in fact. Nobody knew I existed. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> uh, so we'll Stand go... by me was top of the charts. Uh, we'll go around the table. Um, we'll have you each tell me a little bit about your teen and their mask, starting with Cameron at my left. I am uh, Phil Hopkins, who's a big, clumsy galoot, uh, who is skilled at breaking things. Uh, that is his one real claim to fame. His mask um, is uh, crafted from an old a VHS tape uh, of Mary Poppins, and among other things, a bunch of uh, little cocktail umbrellas pasted across the top. And when he puts it on, he changes from regular old galooty Phil Hopkins into Moppy Pippins, the <laughs> entirely impeccable in all kinds of way British nanny uh, with a, with an umbrella who is um, mis very mysterious, very magical, and also almost indestructible. All right. Molly? Um, so by day, I am Courtney Smith, and I am super metal or I think that I'm super metal um, and I'm very like typical teenager outcasty 
I was me in high school. <laughs> <laughs> not, not nearly as friendly. Um, and I'm good at like putting things together and fixing them. Um, and then one day, I was suddenly uh, spoken to by a pile of discarded blacklight posters that I found in a dumpster next to a windowless white van. And uh, I, I made them into this giant mask that looks like a dragon head. And I became Troll Puncher. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> what does Troll Puncher look like? Exactly like Courtney Smith looks, but wearing a crappy mask <laughs> made out of... <laughs> So you don't All actually you don't actually change form like everybody else. You just you just gain the I power. Get slightly bigger. Okay, that works. Yeah, I mean uh, the, a number of the and characters. I kind of I kind of bust out of the shoulders of my uh, battle jacket, kind of Hulk like, but that's about it. And the sleeves fall off exactly the same every time. So you just got your guns going. <laughs> Somehow I, I've managed to keep my pants on too. I don't know how it happens. Well, you you skip leg day because friendship and magic. <laughs> That was always the excuse. And my friends and I were watching a Hayao Miyazaki film or some other film where nothing is explained except for because friendship and magic. Now watch the damn movie. So <laughs> that's really accurate. That doesn't apply to Hulk's pants, though. <laughs> no, I'm saying it's exactly what applies to Hulk's pants. Um, <laughs> uh, maybe Hulk's pants are held together with friendship. We don't know. Well, exactly. That's why it's explained because friendship and magic. Excuse me, Mr. Hulk. <laughs> it's actually literally his friends like clinging around his hips holding his pants up <laughs> okay that, that's an amazing mental image Marissa right. yes um, so by day my character's name is Nat Nixon or Natalie Nixon um, she is the kid who is pretty smart but she's not particularly fast. She's not particularly strong. She wasn't on a sports team of any kind. The only reason that she has avoided getting into more accidents is just sheer dumb fucking luck. Um, just happening to be in the right place at the right time. Otherwise, she is not particularly physically skilled in any way. Um, but then at one point, she almost got into a car accident, fell into a sinkhole, and found these like discarded pieces of like di colored diamonds that were under a jewelry shop, I'm thinking. Um, some of them were blue, some of them were red. And when she put them together to make a mask, she became Mercury. Um, so when she switches to Mercury, um, she is much stronger, uh, significantly faster, and half of her body turns this very, very pale blue, and half of it turns this like deep-seated red. Um, so one side can cast ice power, and the other can cast fire power, um, unless she fully changes her inner temperature to one or the other. That's awesome. Yeah. <clears throat> all right, and you all are... Uh are already friends in school. Um, and uh, you all can tell me how that happened. Uh, by the way, because you are all prodigies, when you look at each other, you can see that each other glows. Uh, like, so on site, you can recognize another prodigy when it's you look at It's the Spider-Verse moment of seeing yeah. the squiggles and going, you're like me. <laughs> it literally that. Yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. Um, so, you, you know, you would have, but if you would like, we can do the teen background connection chart. I would like I to do that. I did the teen background thing. connection Ooh. chart. Ooh, what did you get? Um, one of the other PCs, uh, no, wait, wait, I struck up an unlikely friendship with a jock who doesn't mind my weirdness. That would be me. Yeah. Cameron, would you like to roll a D100 for me to see what you get? I prefer to generate my own narrative, but all right, whatever. You can make up your no, own. No, 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 let's, let's do this. Let's play. If we're going to play it, let's play. Okay. I got a 24. 24. Your best friend is a geeky student who helps you get by in school. That's me. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Great. Narissa. Uh, I don't have a D100 to roll. That's okay. I got that ready for hey, you. Hey, great. Thank you so much. Uh, 24. It's the same thing. So re-roll it. The best friend is me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm my own best friend. Uh, 75, no, 57, sorry. Uh, I think you just rolled to confirm my 24. 
Yes, I did. I did. It's fate. Though you've never performed in front of anyone, you're, you dream big of being an actor, singer, or dancer. <laughs> oh, I'm trying to get her in my band. Oh, my God. Okay, I, I think she's the girl who plays ukulele and sings by herself and has been teaching herself, but she is too shy to actually admit it to literally anyone. She wants to be a singer. Except that it wouldn't have been a ukulele in 1986. Oh, and that's true. So she plays guitar. Guitar, yeah. She plays guitar. Or bass, or bass, yeah. No, she, it's guitar <laughs> okay. for her. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Um, she's literally the only person I know who plays an instrument, so I'm trying to convince her that acoustic guitar, it's going to get electric soon, you, and she's going to be in my band. You may have seen me, like, pack it into my car one day, or you may have seen me, like, open my trunk, and I'm like, no, don't worry about it, don't worry about it. It's, it's nothing. <laughs> it's, it's nothing. Um, also, for our powers, we also can pick, a companion thing for that, right? Uh, yes, yeah. Mm -hmm. There's the there's the, the the background, like if you if you all wanted to go through, like superhero wise, how did you all meet? If you want to do that as well, but let's a let's elide that. I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just for the sake of speed, well, unless you have something in mind. Well, that's really just it, one thing it said that uh, was specific for the fire powers. There were a few different options. One of which is like maybe someone on my team had an accident with fire and they have to like deal with how that affects them whenever I use fire magic. But then there was another that said specifically for some reason, one particular member of my team, my fire magic just always like avoids them. Oh so yeah. Like, these are the... literally cannot. Oh, that, that would be Moppy Pippins. That yeah. has to be Moppy Pippins. <laughs> that so these... to be Moppy Pippins. <laughs> that... Okay. I, my headset's cutting out for some weird reason. Um, uh, yeah, those are the focus, uh, uh, that's what I meant. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. Those are for your foci. Um, yeah. Um, okay. So my my fire magic literally cannot hit Moppy Pippins. Uh, it just always dodges you. Why? Because she's Moppy Pippins. <laughs> and uh, Cameron, what's your focus? My focus is defends the weak. Defends the weak. Let's look. Mm -hmm. And actually, I realized I spoke a mistruth. I think Mercury has normal colored skin until she changes her inner body temperature, and then it switches to either the oh, yeah. blue or Ru the red. Yeah. Sorry, sorry to interrupt. Yeah. Uh, Rules-wise, Moppy Pippins is a mysterious adept who defends the weak. Oh, mm -hmm. she's on page one fourteen of the core book. Apparently, that was <laughs> that was actually totally what gave me the inspiration. That's awesome. That's amazing. Uh, yeah. So defends the weak. Um, connection. Choose one of the following. Pick one other PC. You failed to protect this character at some point in the past, and you feel compelled to make up for it. Uh, uh, or pick a character that has claimed innocence during a long ago event and you protected them. Now the time has passed. You're not entirely convinced they were blameless. Uh, pick a character and they seem to think that you are more of an arbitrator than you really are. And they keep asking you to choose which one of them is correct. Uh, or pick another character. They believe mm -hmm. that uh, they believe that one of the tokens of gratitude you carry came from their father. Hmm. Or other family members. Yeah, I'll go with the, the fact that you guys keep wanting Mo Moppy Pippins to, to settle arguments. And that's not what she does. <laughs> that's not... Mo Mo Moppy Pippins is, is essentially a force of chaos. Turning Jeez. to you to be like, please make the decision for us. We yep. can't do this. Okay, great. Uh, Molly, what is your uh, focus? Uh, my focus is flies by night. Flies by night. Is that in... <laughs> She's got a really cheap decal on the side of your truck. <laughs> And oh, uh, I drive truck. I am the knight. <laughs> that's, that when old, is... that's when old Jack Burton says to it himself. Uh, oh, and then we, that's right. We didn't read our full descriptors, did we? Uh, Mercury is an impulsive mover, mover that bears a halo of fire. But then for my other special abilities that aren't directly related to that, that's where she uses the ice magic. That's how we sort of worked it and finagled it. Molly, what's your full... What's Troll Puncher? Descriptive type focus. What, what's Troll Puncher? Uh, I am a tough smasher who flies by night. Hell yeah. And my team descriptor is Metalhead. I love it. Yeah, I'm just clumsy. <laughs> I'm trying to think what his sport would be. It's on page 52, Ryan. Thank you. I guess wrestling, Welcome. just wrestling and weightlifting would be the, the sports that would be appropriate for him. <laughs> <laughs> and not because he's any good at wrestling, but because he's just like, he's a he's slab. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. I mean, that got me through like 10 years of jujitsu. So. <laughs> yeah. who, who cares about levers when you got that much mass? Yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. So, Molly, pick yeah. another character. You know them and they know you uh, as if you and they had interacted for a very long time. 
but where and when you met and how they feel and how you both feel towards uh, each other remains up to you to decide. Um, that's the I, I gotta say as far as background hooks go that that one's a little weak that's basically uh, like yeah. you know each other yeah go yeah the, the next one is pick another person's teen form you you can't stand them nearly any problem that you th- can think of gets traced back to them <laughs> that, that's got could, come on come on it's gotta be moppy yep uh, no, then, that would be Phil uh, no it's, it's teen form yeah it's like oh. you wait your teen form yeah in that case, it's not uh, Phil. Phil. Phil never yeah. does anything. This to this one says, pick one other PC, both forms. One of your forms is in love with one of their forms. Whether this love is unrequited or unknown is up to you. Um, and then the fourth one is, pick another person's teen form. This person seems to be able to see through your posturing and can always tell when you're bluffing. I think. Uh, I kind of want me to have one of those yeah, last think, two connections with you. I think there is. I can always see through my posturing and bluffing all right that's that's all i do (laughs) yeah i i think nat could absolutely do that (laughs) also i think in this moment i figured out nat's look think hipster fashion but the spider verse gwen stacy all right that works Mm mm-hmm okay all right in 1986 but okay all right now i mean yeah (laughs) Okay, uh, I'm trying to think of it, the it, rephrase for it that. Would be, it would be acid wash, uh, Gwen Stacy. <laughs> yes, basically. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't want to hear it. I lived it. No, I, I mean, I, I'm not the one that lived it the least anymore. Yeah, it's true. It's true. <laughs> I at least had some, some existence in the 80s. <laughs> You and I were 80s toddlers, honey. That's fair. But, that's... you know, but that's existing. That's, you know, last time I checked. Yeah. yeah. I did I did get a Nintendo in 1989. And uh, I love the shit out of that NES. Anyway, um, so you all are at school. Uh, let's see. You're at Boundary Bay High because you're in Boundary Bay, Long Island. Great. Um... Where are the three of you currently hanging out together? Under the bleachers behind the football field. Because it's smoke time. Yeah. Uh, in the middle of the day. Yeah. In, like. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You all had a much different high school experience than I did. <laughs> they didn't let us go out. Uh, like. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, they would. I think, yeah, you had open lunch most of you know. Most schools had open lunch. Yeah, mine mine did not either. There was no opportunity. Usually we would meet up at the lockers or at like a corner of the cafeteria. So, but yeah, I'd be totally down for that. So underneath the bleachers. Yes. Cool. All right. Um, so while you all are hanging out, uh, a girl that you all know relative, like uh, she's she's got at least a class with each of you. Um and uh, her name is Patty Kirkhoff. Okay. Patty is is walking around. <laughs> I know what I call her. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, she has uh, she has olive skin, long auburn hair, um, uh, big ring earrings. Uh, she's got a long sleeve shirt on that is uh, purple in the center, blue on the arms, and. Uh, this like teal on the collar on the, on a fluffy collar. Mm -hmm. Uh, and, uh, she walks up, she's like, Hey guys. Um, Hey, Hey. I I just, I just wanted to let you all know. I'm I'm really glad I found you. Uh, I'm having a party this weekend. Um, and I would absolutely love it if you all would be there. Um, it's not going to be, you know, like one of those crazy parties where everybody's drinking. Uh, I don't really do that sort of thing. It's going to be, you more, you know, more sitting around hanging out. Um, Hanging out doing what? Well, uh, I mean, we could watch movies. Um, there's going to be a lot of really good food. I I just got uh, uh, Zelda for the Nintendo. So, <laughs> you know, we'll probably play a lot of Nintendo. Um, it'd be really cool. Uh, uh, and I mean, anybody that's anybody that's uh, into video games right now, Zelda's the new hot shit. No, oh, I haven't had the chance to play it yet. I've heard it's really good, though. It's really good. And I mean, like, we could play it together. That would be really cool. I would love that, yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, 
uh, and I just uh, I just got uh, 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 Wrath of Khan on uh, for on tape. So, um, you know, that's pr- probably going to put that in the background. Um, and we're going to we're going to skip the first one uh, and we can watch two and three back to back because, you know, a new, the voyage home is about to come out. She's like, she is fucking excited for Star Trek Four. The Voyage Home? Is that what it's called? I believe you mean the search for Spock. No, that's three. Yeah. Three's out. Oh, okay. I see what you're saying. Yeah. Sorry. She's she's like, yeah, because, you know, Voyage Home's about to come out. And she's like, like beaming at how excited she is for Star Trek. Um, and she's like, yeah, yeah. And I just think you guys are really cool. And I would like to have you over to hang out and play video games and watch movies. I didn't come here to be attacked like this. (laughs) (laughs) I feel very exposed. (laughs) I mean, Ivan, what do you guys think? Do you have peanut butter? (laughs) Yes. Uh, um, Like like for sandwiches? Yeah, yeah. uh, Then I'm there. (laughs) I'll I'll make sandwiches. That sounds great. Courtney? Um, I guess... um... If I don't have anything else going on, maybe. I I know how you're really cool, and I I, 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 I know you're glare busy. at Courtney because I know she fucking wants to go. <laughs> <laughs> you know I don't have anything. You're trying to play it cool. <laughs> what uh, What else would you be doing, Courtney? Well, you know, maybe I'll maybe I'll band practice or go to a go to a show. Or, really? What show yeah. are you playing next? Um, did you have you one know, this that weekend? One, that one at that 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 bar that we go to we'll be there yeah. oh that's so awesome <laughs> um uh and if uh if if any of you see um uh uh oh god what was i'm, I'm trying to think of a good name um, <laughs> i'm sure this is an important character lance that matters a lot uh lance vindegard lance. Uh, if you see lance dowry S- can squeamer <laughs> <laughs> Dwavis. <laughs> Dwavis. No, if you if you all see Lance, can you tell him that uh, uh, just don't mention it. He's he's not invited. Uh, Why not? Uh, yeah. If I have to hear for the seventeenth time how to find secret levels in Mario, I'm going to throw him out a fucking window. Neat. I'll uh. tell him to be there. <laughs> there is. She she definitely has a list of people that are not allowed to show up because they keep raiding on her parade. <laughs> All right. Yeah. I mean, secret safe. Yeah. Yeah. Sweet. Okay. And so she she toddled off. She's really excited. She just got the cool kids to to go <laughs> to her party. <laughs> sure, she did. <laughs> In her mind, yeah. you guys are the fucking coolest. Finish finish the cigarette, Phil. You don't have practice that night, do you? It's a Friday. No. <laughs> All right. I don't see why not. Okay. <laughs> All right, and we finish our cigarettes and throw them on the or, ground. Or you know, an egg salad sandwich in in <laughs> Phil's case. <laughs> <laughs> that he's managed to get a good portion of it all over his front. Uh huh. Courtney and Nat are smoking together, and he's just, oh god, oh god. Uh, you know, that's not oh god. It's why the, uh, there I go again. <laughs> <laughs> Immediately hands you a napkin just out of. <laughs> no, I got it. And he starts taking the target egg salad up off of his shirt and eating it. <laughs> oh, God. But, but in a way that's adorable. Uh, <sighs> Phil, you should really change. I, I don't think I'm ever gonna, though. <laughs> um, okay. But, but, sweetie, we've talked about this. Uh, I know I may, might grow out of it someday, but I. I my mom says, uh, you know, you are who you are. Yeah, but that doesn't mean that you don't have to clean yourself. <laughs> like his tongue is on the shirt at this point. Uh-huh. <laughs> what, what do you mean? Uh-huh. Did, uh-huh. Did, you so, on, did you put on deodorant this morning like we've <laughs> talked about? Well, yeah. Uh-huh. Did you shower this morning? Yeah. After he put on the deodorant? <laughs> <laughs> no. He's not stupid. Okay. He's just a little, you know, a bit more of a slower cruising speed than other people. I would just put on the hoodie in your locker and very later, very, if I were you. What from Chad? Adorkable. Ad- he is adorkable. Well, but uh, um, kind of. But it's more adorkable. It's more mm. like he's more just the nicest. 
hunk of meat that anybody ever met. <laughs> He's offable. He's offable. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What's next in the adventure? What are we doing? So, um, flash forward to the party. Patty's party. Yes. Um, How did we get here? <laughs> <laughs> um, everybody's hanging out. Uh, you know, the 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 AV club is standing in the corner marveling at Patty's uh, mom and dad's and Patty's collection of all of the uh, different like enterprise figurines that their entire family has put together by hand. I'm feeling uh, very attacked right now. Uh, oh, this is amazing. Uh, uh, this on. is all canon too. Uh, and uh, they're like, they're like, oh my God. Did, like Pat, Patty's dad has a, has a laser disc player. And like, and like, she's like, yeah, yeah. It's the only way to watch, you know, movies in their original format. Um, we've dad wouldn't live without a, a, a widescreen TV. And everybody's like, what's a widescreen TV. <laughs> and they're like, oh, it's, just, it's a 16 by nine aspect ratio. And the, all the AV club kids are like, yeah, yeah. And they're like, you know, sitting over there talking about, movies and they're like that's why when you play a movie at home it says this movie has been formatted to fit your screen and then they, they're they're just chatting with each other about that as they're chatting with each other about that i am just eyeing the nintendo which is sitting right on the center of the coffee table in the midst of all of i'm sure the sodas and drinks etc <laughs> well the, just waiting to play it <laughs> well it's it's down in their entertainment center and uh there are two controllers sitting out and it's just sitting on the mario uh uh screen but I want to switch it to Zelda. You you say that and Patty runs over and, you know, pops it, flips out, <laughs> you know, blows in it, puts it in and, you know, the Legend of Zelda kicks on. Thanks. This seems like it might be fun. And then looks at it, it plays <laughs> so intensely. Yeah. More intensely than she has ever played in she's, the game. She's like, uh, yeah. And we have, um, uh, we've got crystal light cheese balls. Uh, I made... Um, a bunch of peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Oh, cheese balls. That sounds amazing. Oh, man, I have cheese balls. I want to go get some right uh, now. Courtney, can, can, you get, the Courtney then, can you give me some cheese balls? So so the Phil screen. is in the kitchen uh, oh. with the uh, two loaves of bread and the two liter of Mr. Pib that he brought. <laughs> yeah. they're um, Trying to construct the world's tallest <laughs> peanut butter sandwich. And he's oh all he's very carefully alternating uh, chunky peanut butter, smooth peanut butter, chunky, chunky. He's doing like a Fibonacci sequence kind of thing um, and just trying to get it to, to balance just so. While he's doing that, they're... Phil, uh, bring me a Dr. Pepper, Mr. Pim. I have filled the pockets of my battle jacket with cheese balls and Slim Jim. <laughs> Fuck, yes. Phil, Phil like pulls out a can of Mr. Pim from his, from his Letterman jacket and throws it at her. Yeah, because uh, he's not letting her have any of his. Yep, <laughs> right. she she only grabs it. She sees it at the very last second and goes, "Oh!" <laughs> and then just keeps playing. Lucky. Um. And uh, the the AV club has successfully set up Wrath of Khan on laser disc on a projector uh, downstairs in the basement mm -hmm. where everything has faux wood paneling. Mm -hmm. Um, and or uh, perhaps even wood paneling. Oh, that's right. Just straight up wood paneling. Yeah. My, All right. my parents' den has wood paneling. I'm feeling yeah. so attacked right now. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, yeah. And they've got, uh, you know, they've got the, uh, the working TV stacked up on top of the broken TV of the same <laughs> model so that it's the perfect height and it fits. Um, uh, everybody's asking where the clicker is. Uh, and yeah, so, you know, the night's going on. Everybody's just kind of having a good time. Uh, Patty's boyfriend, Robert shows up. Um, and, uh, he looks like a greaser, like straight out of West Side Story. Um, you know, wears his sunglasses at night. Uh, he's, uh, he, he claims that, you know, he's, he's just really, you know, he's, he's just into fashion. It's just how he is, man. <laughs> Like you just you can't cramp on my style, and that, that was a thing. And uh, you know he's uh, he's just he comes over, you know, while uh, just sits down next to Patty and you playing Zelda, uh, Nat, and uh, and he's like you know, he just sits there for a minute and he's like, hey 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 Patty, can uh, can can we get away from the kid? games for a minute can i have a bit of your time and she's like oh yeah it's a single player game anyway it's not a kid's game it's 
it's okay, Nat. You 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 have fun. We'll we'll play more together later. That that's fine, but that's not the point, Patty. Give me a second, Robert. Um, this game was expertly crafted by the people at Nintendo for how many years? <laughs> this is one of a kind. There is no game that exists like this where you can go into hundreds of different caves and and explore and fight monsters and get weapons and save a princess what other kind of game has that are your are i'm sorry are the all of none books that you read this year going to give you that experience i think not he's like whatever nerd uh and she's like Jock. Sh- shut up don't be mean to my friends um and uh the two of them you know she's they she Patty de-escalates and they walk away. Can I stick my feet out and try and trip him as they walk away? Sure. That's going to be gonna. I'm going to say it's a speed roll, so just roll a d20. Uh I'm going to say it's uh Do they have Robert stats? I am not fast. You, you yeah. So unless you're spending do you have um any power well you're not wearing your mask, so mm-hmm. it's just your uh, uh, I'm actually going to say it is difficulty three, so you have to roll a nine or better on a d20. Okay. I rolled a 17. Yeah, you did. Uh-huh. Uh, all right. So, yeah, he j- trips. It's like, watch where your fucking feet are. Sorry, you know. Metal they ass. Boots, they do what they want. Hey, Nat. So it's fuck. Hey, Nat. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Nat, check it out. He comes in with a with a with a peanut butter sandwich <laughs> that contains the entirety of both loaves of bread. Oh my god! And then proceeds to attempt to take a bite out of the entire thing to, somehow to to fit this thing into his mouth, and uh, and uh, instead winds up with it all over the floor. Do you need help? No, I'm good. And he just turns around, goes back into the kitchen, gets some paper towels, starts to clean it up. Is like utterly unfazed by the whole like you know reality of what he just did. I'm not gonna lie, that's really impressive. <laughs> it stayed up for like ten seconds. Uh, <laughs> and then she keeps playing. Um, after a couple of minutes, uh, you hear some shouting over the booming tunes of "You Give Love a Bad Name" by Bon Jovi. <laughs> <laughs> um, as you can hear, uh. Patty and Robert having an argument. I'm going out there. Wait, Courtney. No, fuck that guy. Okay, so you, you find yourself in the kitchen uh, where the two of them are arguing over uh, the, the, the boom box on the windowsill, uh, trying not to be heard, but... Uh, Patty's going, what the fuck do you mean you can't go? We already bought tickets to see A Voyage Home. It's going to be the best Star Trek movie ever, and you're not going? What? I don't give a shit about your nerd shit. No, and I have something important to do. What do you mean you don't care? And stop calling it nerd shit, okay? Just because I appreciate good film, eh, whatever. No, I'm not <laughs> going to be there. And they're, they're, But they're starting to get louder with each other. While while uh, Phil is moving back and forth with more and more paper towels on each tri- trip, not like acting like that's not going on, just completely like they're in two different scenes. Okay, <laughs> uh, Molly, what are you doing? Um, I'm going to walk up to him and tell him that that is no way to speak to a nice lady, and then I'm going to give him kind of like a little, like. Not a shove, but like an enthusiastic, lengthy tap. Okay. With uh, two fingers. Uh, give me a, uh, a mind roll. <laughs> so it's what just. Am I doing? So I'm gonna say your difficulty on this is two. So um, unless you're spending points to make it easier, uh, or you have a talent that like if you're saying like oh calming someone down or mind roll specifically. I do. Uh, well, ah, what do you have? I have a thing called I'll Waste You, which means the difficulty of all of my attempts to, like, threaten or cajole or intimidate are uh, one easier. Okay, so that drops the difficulty down from two to one, so you have to roll okay. a three or better. Marissa, can you move the mouse off of the screen? I did it. I got a nine. 
All right. So, yeah, he, he looks sullen and withdrawn. What do you need from me? Just move the mouse off the screen. I just realized it's there and it's bugging <laughs> the crap out of me. Yep. Ah, yep. Uh -huh. Perfect. Okay. Yeah, so he looks sullen and withdrawn. He's like, fine, jeez, you don't have to get your fucking friends to group up on me. Jesus, I'll, I'll just leave. And she's like, if you leave, don't come back. He's like, that's the point of leaving. Jesus Christ. And he gets out, um, and it says specifically in here, he gets into a 1983 Trans Am black and gold with New York plates. Yeah, he does. <laughs> um, when he opens the door, a blonde, balding, older man is visible in the driver's seat for a moment. Who's that guy? At which point, Patty drops into a fit and hugs Molly's character, whose name I've already uh, Courtney. Oh. Courtney, uh, just, just, oh. just, just bawling into your shoulder, Courtney. Just there, there. What? <laughs> He's such an asshole. He is an asshole. During this, I go to the window. I want to look out and see who the fuck that is in the car. Uh. Sure. So go ahead. Uh, as you walk outside, give me a. No, I'm looking for the window. She. I've uh, decided that because the mask form is super impulsive and confrontational, Nat is super non-confrontational and doesn't actually know how to stand up for herself aside from throwing maybe one quip. Sure, sure. Yeah. So to get a better to get a better picture of the guy, uh, give me a. I'm gonna say give me a mind roll. Okay. Um. So, so if you're intellect. Not... Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Intellect. Okay. Um, and if, again, if you're not spending any points, I'm going to say the difficulty is three. So to figure out what you need to roll, you just multiply difficulty by three. So when I say it's three, you need to roll a nine or better okay. to succeed. Cool. Um, oh shit. I, I only rolled a six. That's okay. So yeah, you don't see anything more than that. Uh, it's dark out. Yeah, that's um, fair. Just seems like a bald guy. Win windows are slightly tinted. Okay. Got it. Yep. Um, and, and I call over, hey, Phil? Yeah. Do you know who that is? Who what is? Is that Robert's dad or something? No, I think that was his girlfriend. No. Look, at, <laughs> look out, outside the window, you <laughs> dick. What? Where? Who? Okay, so look out the window. Do you see the I'm car? I'm looking out the window. They're okay, already but, gone. Ugh, I don't see a car. Never never mind. Don't worry okay. about it. Hey, I, I mean. How, how was the sandwich? Hold on just a sec. I got I to gotta say something. Hey, honey, I, I don't, I don't mean to be like that guy, um, but I, I just feel somebody needs to say to you that um, I think you're out of paper towels. <laughs> Patty is like, oh my god, Phil. She's like, you what? What? Okay, I'll go get some more. No, it, it, just tell me where they are. If you need to go upstairs and take a minute, go uh, we, for we it. We keep them in the shed. Okay. Not in the shed. The garage. All right, I'll I'll go just that door, yeah? Yeah. Oh, hey, yeah, don't worry about it. There's plenty in here. Okay. Daddy, I don't know why he's such Daddy, an asshole, Daddy, Courtney. Daddy. Why is he you, so bad? You want to punch me in the face? No, I like you. You're so nice. You, you might feel better. Punch me in the face. No, I don't want to punch you in the face, Courtney. Jesus. Pretend, pretend I'm him. Look, no. I've got the floppy, I've got the floppy, floppy greaser hair. I'm really into fashion. She, she's like, okay. And then she puts her arms around your neck and she's like, why are you such an asshole all the time? And she's like hugging because you. Because I'm an asshole and I'm insecure in my masculinity. God, that is so him. Yeah, fuck him. God, I hope not. Um, yeah, so still gonna punch me in the face. Uh, all of her, all of her other, <laughs> let's say, uh, the Heather's show up, uh, and uh, begin to comfort the shit out of her. Uh, you know, they, <laughs> so they she's the Veronica. Yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> yep. uh, uh, she, they, they, they're like, oh my god, he's so, and they, you know, they just. They, they, they form the wall of compassion around her that you are now free to no longer be, you know, the, the, the center of compassion for, I will back away slowly. Um, they're like, and, uh, uh, her, her other really they, like they're being genuinely nice. And her friend Dana, like t starts talking to you and she's like, Jesus, I know that guy's an asshole, but like, he's gotten a lot worse lately. 
She's talking to you, Courtney. <laughs> yeah, and they call us emotional. Jeez, what a fucking prick. Uh, it happens when you blossom into a fine young woman like himself. <laughs> She laughs. She's like, you're cooler than I thought. Um, I know. <laughs> she's like, yeah, so... And apparently, I think he's joining the mob. I, I'm i glad he's gone. Why? Why would the mob want that? I mean, I, I don't know a lot about the mob. No, well, he's he's but... been he's been going into Manhattan a lot lately and hanging out with some chucklehead called Sean. I don't know. Whenever, whenever any of us try to get together, it's always, Hey, I told Sean to call your house. Like Courtney, not Courtney. I'm looking at you, Molly. And I'm thinking your character, like Patty needs, you know, some, some guy from Manhattan calling her all the time. Let's call him. Does she have his number? No. And they don't have caller ID. They say we are pre-star 69. Yeah. And I mean, like her, I think her dad has one on like his business line upstairs in the office, but he doesn't have caller ID for the house. Hmm. And he never leaves a, me- and, and Sean never leaves a message. So I mean, like, how many it- Sean's could there be in Manhattan? <laughs> Seven. <laughs> Maybe eight or nine. Yeah. Um, <laughs> a handful. <laughs> um, since the game is paused and she just went from the window Nat's gonna go check in on <laughs> Courtney and everyone else in the kitchen yeah D- you see this scene you see the Heathers uh, comforting uh, Patty and Dana and Courtney chatting it up and then mm-hmm. on the other side of the kitchen Phil is there I assume you know attempting to make a new tower of food no 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 he's just he's just kind of hanging around with a, a, an entirely other two liter of Mr. Pibb <laughs> <laughs> holding it like you know it's his drink which it is <laughs> he got the backup Mr. Pibb <laughs> yeah he's, he's, he's just and he's just kind of observing the scene you know he's just kind of being there yeah uh, uh, a number of the jockey dudes have gone home the AV club is thoroughly into like like they're <laughs> the, they they hit the uh, the what is it on a laser disc? Forty minutes per side. I don't know. They're 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 flipping the disc at this point to get to uh, the rest of yeah. uh, Rathacon. That's the name of my sex tape. Flipping the disc. <laughs> flipping the disc. Uh, um. Actually, no. One of them calls up. Hey, we're about to watch Search for Spock. If you want to see it, and everybody's like, oh, no, not right now. Even though it's a really good movie. It's okay. I think they find him. <laughs> <sighs> that guy at a party. Uh, they're like, yeah, we know it's been out for a while. Anyway. Um, <laughs> God, you know, we could just watch Empire Strikes Back again. Oh, no, wait. It's a, it's it's past 84. 84 was Return of the Jedi, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So they've got the whole trilogy out now. Nub dub. Mm-hmm. Nope, nope. <laughs> Look, Ewoks were better than everybody says. I, I I'm down I for still Ewoks. I'm sad when the stripey Ewok is confused because he can't make the other Ewok get up. Well, that's because it's sad. <laughs> They're all a bunch of murder bears. Yeah. All they fucking do is murder. They're murder teddy bears, though. And they murder. Yeah, they're very cute murder bears. But... In, insurgency Muppets, I think, is, what is the, the politically correct term. <laughs> um, so I think bears. I think this is in canon. So we were very concerned about Patty. Now that her friends are here to comfort her, we all get into yeah. a debate about Ewoks in the kitchen. That's what happens. Yeah, 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 literally. Great. And, and uh, taking the part of Dana, who actually has opinions about Star Wars. Yep. Yes, yes. And uh, Sir... I am forgetting his name. He was fucking. Sir Alec Guinness. Sir Alec Guinness. Thank you. Except one of the Sir Ian McKellen. I was like, he was not Obi-Wan. No. And Sir yeah. Alec Guinness is an asshole. Um, was. Was. Well, at this point in time. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, uh, and after about 20 minutes, um, Patty very politely asks everyone to, to head out. Um, but she goes over and like, like takes track, uh, of your like she makes sure that your Zelda game is saved. Um 
uh, uh, she with you. She made sure to name it. She put it in, in slot three, and they named. I think we it. spent like twenty minutes trying to figure out what the name of my slot was going to be. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. spent a while debating yeah. all yeah. the options. She, she makes sure of it. Me for making it ass like four times. <laughs> And I thank her profusely over and over for saving my save file. Yeah, she yeah. named. Well, she was like, "Well, you're the hero this time, so it's Nat." <clears throat> I'm okay with that. Thanks. Yeah, yeah. and uh, and yeah. So she shuts everything down. And uh, as as Phil's exiting, he's got he's he's got this steel horse that's in two pieces. <laughs> I was like, "Thank you so much. It's been a lovely party, and I think this should be fine if you glue it." And he just <laughs> hands it to her, <laughs> and she's like. How? So what do we talk about? You're not supposed to touch people's expensive stuff at parties. You know this always happens. I know. <laughs> hey, you know you know I say this because I care about you, right? I know. Okay, let's get you home, and we'll get more super glue tomorrow. Okay. Hey, okay. can you can you take? Hey, oh, hey. oh no, wait! And then he reaches into his pocket and pulls out like three super glues and hands them to her. <laughs> oh, you kept them. <laughs> She's like always thinking. She's like, Phil, Phil, can you do me a favor? Yeah. Can you take the Pepsi for the road? Can I ever? <laughs> she hands you a big thing of Pepsi, a two liter. She's like, no one in the house drinks it. And I don't know why I ever buy it at parties. People just get mad that it's not Coke. Do you, do you think she's kind of cute? What? Do you think she's kind of cute? Uh, why? why I mean, forget why, it. Why, why are you? <laughs> um, Phil? What? And then as we're walking away. <laughs> I pull you aside to have this conversation. Do you want to talk to her? I just did. Yeah, but I'm saying, do you want to talk to her about maybe going to like the drive-in or going maybe bowling? Maybe taking her to see Star Trek. Yeah, maybe you could see the new Star Trek. <laughs> but we just watched Star Trek. No, but I'm saying do you could go, just the two of you. To the new one. I'm, I'm going back to knock on her door what? to tell her that yeah. Phil is taking her to Star Trek. No, no, I didn't. No, 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 yeah, no. Yeah, and he so just fun. he grabs he grabs both of them by their heads <laughs> <laughs> and turns them towards the car and and, and marches them wait, wait, <laughs> to the but, car. But Phil, come on, and no, like I'm still getting window still getting in the car, but also stop, Phil. What? Do you like? Do you like Patty? Nat, this is a sacred trust. Yeah, I know. You asked me. and she I asked is... if you thought she was cute. I... You inferred all the things. I mean, I... That there are to infer. <laughs> Dude, I've known you for, what, 10, 15 years now? Yeah, so shut up. <laughs> yeah, not you! <laughs> Does the perp head tuck with, into the car and closes the door? <laughs> <laughs> um, and and then as they're about to drive away, she just smiles, looks over at Phil, and says, "She's cute." I know. <laughs> <laughs> at which point, flash forward, which of you, uh, which of you does Patty have their number? Uh, I think, yeah, me, Nat. Yeah, probably Nat. All right. So, what is Nat doing at home? Uh, uh, you know. Oh, um, she's she's practicing uh, guitar. She's she's practicing guitar and singing. But she makes sure, like, she checks to make sure her parents are are you know downstairs watching something. She makes sure everyone else is asleep that no one else can hear her. And then she starts playing guitar and singing. Yeah. Um, and it's like Prince, but acoustic. <laughs> they're they're watching. You know. It's like all the acoustic versions of songs that she has, like the the band posters on her walls. But then she has like a nice picture that she puts on over top. It's just like this whole secret hidden life. She's of, trying. Like, she's she trying to play music. Purple Rain on acoustic guitar, and she just can't figure out why it doesn't work. <laughs> no, and then and then after that, she switches and starts playing the Beatles. She's that yep. kid. Yep. Yep. She's Veronica post transformation or pre transformation mm. in in like the musical version of Heather's. Uh, yeah. So um, you the 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 phone rings throughout the house. Oh, Dad, I got it. Um, Hello. Get off the other line. Uh, hi, I got it. Uh, this is uh, this is Patty. Is is uh, is Nat there? <laughs> hey, it's me. Oh my God! I'm so glad. Look, yeah, are, um, hey, are you okay? She, I know earlier was kind of. She rough. is very clearly crying, um, and you can hear honking and uh, a whole lot of cars in the background. 
Um, yeah. Look, look, I, 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 I need you to cover for me. Wait, Penny, what's going on? Look, I, I, I had to go. I had to go into Manhattan. Um, I'm at Penn Station right now on a payphone. Uh huh. Um, and I, my mom is going to be calling to, to, to verify that I'm sleeping over at your house. If you could just, just cover for me. Well, yeah, but, but do you need me to come get you? Why are you at Penn Station? No, I don't need you to come get me. I found out what Robert's doing, and I need to stop him before he does something stop. stupid. Wait, wait, stop! <laughs> what, what's he doing? I. I'm going to his dad's apartment on the west side. Um, by it's yourself? close enough to Penn Station that I can walk there. Wait, by, your, by yourself? That's not a good idea. I'll be home by tomorrow night, uh, and 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 I'm bringing Robert back. I'm not letting him do this. Do what, Patty? Talk to me. Uh, it's look. I gotta go. Just just let my mom know that I'm at your house, please. I... Will you do that for me? Okay, but please be careful. Yeah, absolutely. I'll be fine. Yeah, and, and if you need to talk to me, if you need to talk to anyone, please give me another call, okay? It'll be fine. Thank you. Yeah. You're the best. <laughs> You're the best. All right. Take care of yourself, okay? Bye. All right. She hangs up, and a few minutes later, her mom calls, and I assume that, you know, you confirm that, yeah, yeah, she's totally, she's sleepover, my house. Yeah, yeah. We're just hanging out. <laughs> yeah. Great. Okay, just wanted to check, and uh, mm -hmm. then she hangs up. And, uh, yeah. Uh, so, you're kind of left with that. I call Courtney. Like, immediately call Courtney. Your whole house rings. Hey. <laughs> hey, um, Honey, do you, did you get it? Uh, uh, yes. Courtney, honey, do you have it? Yes, I'm oh, right here. Okay, then I'll hang up. Okay, I'll, I'll hang up. Phone. Okay, all right, I'll hang up now. Okay. Click. Hello, who is it? Oh, hi, Mr. Smith. Uh, hi, Mrs. Smith. Hi. Hi. Um, oh, Natalie? Yeah, I'm, it, it, I'm on, it's, I'm on, it's I'm, Natalie. It. Oh, yeah. how are you? I am so happy <laughs> that I'm you called. I know. I know I haven't seen you I, since. I know got you've it. got... Fine. Courtney, got be it. quiet. I'm talking to your I friend. Up. I saw you. This goes on for about oh, five minutes. God, the pain is real. I saw you at Christmas, right? It's nice to hear from you again. Yes. Oh, um, my God. Is it okay if I talk to Courtney for a minute? Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. absolutely. Oh, you kids never have time for us anymore. You're too cool for school. No, I mean, I'll, I'll come over sometime soon. I just, I need to talk to Courtney. Oh, we love having things. you over. Yeah. Um, Be a good influence on her. <laughs> I'll try. All right. And then she, click. Hey. Hey. Did Patty say anything about Robert doing something weird? I just got a really, really freaky call from her. Other than just generally being an asshole, and then some weird guy keeps calling her house now. Wait, Why? wait, what's, what's back up. Uh, some, some weird guy's calling the house? I don't know, some jackass named Sean in Manhattan. Her house? Calls her house for him. I think she might be going there tonight. Well, that's fucking stupid. Yeah, that's not good. And she wouldn't tell me where. She just said that she was going to see Robert's dad and that she wasn't going to let him do this. It was really freaky. I'm, I'm worried about her. Oh, let's go get her. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, God, that's a lot. Um, That's really dangerous. Uh, do you think nah, we, maybe fine. we should call the police or something? No, we shouldn't do that. Uh, we should go. We got this. Okay, I'll call Phil. Um, I'll, I'll call you right back, okay? Um, mm -hmm. uh, do you want to meet me at my place in like 20 minutes? Yep, I'm on the way. Okay, all right, I'll see you soon. Click. Ring, 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 ring. Yellow. Hey, Phil. Um, it, it, Phil, who's on the phone? I don't know yet. <laughs> Hi, Mr. Hopkins. Well, why are they calling this late? No, he's not on the phone yet. What? Why are they calling this late, Phil? Because that's what time it is. Phil, t <laughs> Phil, tell him it's not. Tell him it's not. It's not. Nat. God, you know. God not what? It, Phil. It's Nat. Oh, hi, Nat. How are you? Hi. <laughs> um, uh, can you meet me at my place in like 20 minutes? Sure. Somebody better be dead, Phil. <laughs> They're not. <laughs> I think Patty might be in danger. Well, then we got to take care of that. Yeah. Okay, I'm on my way. So he hangs up the phone, and then he's got a um, a model airplane half assembled, 
stuck to his hand, but it's obviously been broken about 12 times and then re-glued. And he has to shake his hand to get it off and, and, and put it onto the table, and then he grabs his car keys on the way out. Ladies and gentlemen, you'll be happy to know that 30 years later, painting minis is not, or assembling minis is not any easier. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then, uh, all right, so are you all going to drive into Manhattan, or are you going to take uh, the rail? The L to the I to the RR. The Long Island Railroad. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. So parking in, in the city is $28 I, I a sure day. I put my mask in my backpack. Tickets on the rail are $54 a person. What? That's what it had. The Long Island Railroad runs from Boundary Bay directly to Penn Station in the middle of Manhattan, the same station that Patty mentioned. Tickets cost $54 each, and the train ride <laughs> takes two hours. What? I, I don't have that kind of money. Dennis Detweiler wrote this and grew up in New York I mean, in this I mean, time we start period. With money? It's his research, and I believe it, but d that can't be right. Do we start with money? I mean, it's a we lot. Have, we have teenager money, which I guess we're going to drive then. Yeah. I, I mean, we can all pitch in for parking, right? I mean, I have a few bucks. I would say 86. What was a uh, uh, minimum wage? Around a buck? No, it wasn't that bad. It was, but, you know. Not much more than not that. Not much more. It's, <laughs> you know, it was about the same as it is now. It's just <laughs> it's without the inflation. Aww. Yeah. It's funny because it's true. Uh, yeah, because I mean, mm -hmm. when I started working, it was like seven dollars an hour. I don't know. I'm just I'm used to thinking of the uh, the Long Island Railroad as a as a commuter line. Yeah. Oh my God, I'm trying to decide if Nat's part time job is she works at a record it, shop or if she works at a library. And they have they have commuter rates, which drops it down to about, you know, like. Whatever I don't know what it would drop, but it drops it down. You know that you're you're most people that that do that pay an arm and a leg, but also you know inflation isn't anywhere near as terrible, so living isn't a death sentence. Minimum wage was three dollars and thirty five cents. Okay, cool. Yeah. In the state of New York in the eighties. It well, this is is Long Island it's in the state of New York, but not mm -hmm. in New York City. Mm -hmm. Correct. It's in New York County. Yeah, because yeah, because uh, that might be the monthly rate because it starts at like well, it goes up to, up to uh, goes up to about five hundred dollars for a monthly rate now. But then again, it, yeah, all right. It might have been more expensive because it, it was newer then. Yeah, mm -hmm. it might have absolutely been yeah. a different thing. <laughs> yeah. So the Long Island Railroad. So I'm glad we had that. I'm glad we settled that though. Yep. 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 So we're. Well, I knew. I knew that that was going to bug you without if you didn't know because that's. So we're driving in then. Yeah? Yes. Yeah. What is driving that sound? In? Okay. That's definitely something. In, Molly. It sounds like she's a. Uh, uh, in the tornado. Yeah. Uh, there shouldn't be anything. I turned everything off. My fridge is making a noise. Ah, uh, that, that's what there it is. Okay. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah. And pick up. Anyway, so uh, you all drive in. Um, it's 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 late, which means the traffic is hard to see at night in New York. Uh, you know, not not exactly any easier, um, especially on a Friday. Um, mm -hmm. uh, you know, most of the parking garages are full. Um, but for the sake of ease, I'm going to say that your other superpower is you find an open spot in a garage. I near am lucky. Woo. Yeah, you find an open spot in, in a garage near Penn Station. I probably, well, actually, the Penn Station garage was probably it was probably not that hard, actually. Oh, okay. If it's if it's what what time is it? Uh, like eleven. Yeah. So yeah. Cool. Yep. Like we find the last spot, and I point it out, and then we park in it. Great. Yep. Uh, and then, yeah, so, you know, you're all standing around Penn Station, uh, and just as a clue, the last thing that she said, she, she called from a payphone near Penn Station. Uh, she mentioned that Rob's dad lived in the West Side, and she can walk, that she could walk there from Penn Station, um, and she expected to be coming home tomorrow night. Uh, do any of you, um have any abilities uh so the first thing that we'd start with is is tracking her down how do you all want to do that um we're still in our team forms right mm -hmm. okay well i don't have any of these fancy abilities then um 
Hmm. And, and also, if you want to say that, like, whatever investigative stuff that you did, you did before you left, absolutely. I mean, yeah, I, I would say I would have tried to... Oh, but I don't know how I would get an information on the dad or anything like that. Um, hmm. Well, you know, so... Uh, are you sure... Molly, are you sure Star 69 didn't exist yet? I don't think it did. Uh, it was, it was sometime around then. Uh, it, I, it depends on who Call, you... Caller ID didn't exist, but I think Star 69 did. Um, it depends on who you had for service because like, uh, your, your, your phone carrier had to offer it. I'm going to say that for the purposes of the game, all of your phone carriers offer it. Okay. So then, yeah, we would have tried to Star 69, a number, it, retcon, retcon, retcon. Yeah. At Patty's so house. She called you. So you, you look up, you now have the phone number for the, the, the telephone booth she called you the from. Pay the okay, pay phone? Okay, so then I immediately try and track down that pay phone. Absolutely. Sure, sure. So um, I'm not even going to make you roll for that. You, you go around to uh, the, you know it had to be outdoors because you were hearing um, cars. Mm -hmm. uh, and you find the pay phone on the corner of uh, 8th Avenue and West 40th, uh, right near Times Square in front of a Roy Rogers. Uh, six blocks north of Penn Station. Um, uh, I'm going to say the way that you figured that out, just to make it easy, is that the uh, the, the payphone numbers are sequential. Okay, um, cool. And uh, uh, for uh, also, again, even if this isn't a thing, I'm going to make it a thing. There's a map of, of like numbers to phones in phone booths. Okay, cool. Yep, so I have that, and we find the phone. I look around and look to the others and say, okay, she said that she was trying to find Robert going to his dad's place, so are there apartments nearby? In Manhattan? I mean, I mean I'm mean, i just saying, like, maybe seedier apartments. It sounded like they were doing some shady stuff. I don't know. Apartments we in Manhattan. We can look for the car that we saw outside. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good place to start. Um, so let's try and look for that car, maybe parked on the street or something. What car? The Trans Am. Do you remember the Trans remember Am that was outside? No, I didn't see it. There was no Trans Am that I saw. Okay, great. All right. Well, Courtney and I will keep our eyes peeled. Um, if you see Robert or if you see a guy who's bald walking around, okay. Let well, us no, know I mean, I can help. I can help. Did it have a color? Uh, it was black and gold. There you go. Was that so hard, Nat? I just. No, it wasn't. I was just overthinking again. Sorry. Okay, is there a way that I can roll to see if I can find this car? So, um, yeah, yeah. So it would be a an intellect roll. Oh, we have. We're gonna gumshoe it. I have two eyes, and I'm in the scene. <laughs> well, there's. Yeah, can they assist me? Is there any mechanic for that? No, there, um, there's no, there's no... Uh, Just all of us can roll for it? They can spend points for you, but they have to spend double the cost, I think. Um, but that's, uh, I, I'd have to look it up. But uh, it's not as simple as saying like, oh, we're both working toward this together. Um, but yeah, I'm going to say it's, uh, it's difficulty one, so you just need to roll three or higher. Oh, yeah, I got a 15. That's fine. Yeah, so as you're looking around, you don't see the car, but you do, in fact, see a um, a guy living in the, uh, clearly living in the alley next to the Roy Rogers, squeezing in and out of a small area between the buildings like a human floppy disk. Uh, mm -hmm. He seems to be of indeterminate age, whip thin, covered in filth. Um, and he seems to be uh, fumbling through uh, Patty's, Backpack. I'm going to go up to him. That's our backpack. Hey. Excuse me. Yeah. Yeah. Hello. Where did you get, where did you get that backpack? I found it. Where? Um, uh, across the street. Exactly where? Can you show me? And he, he's like, by the, the, uh, payphone. Did you see anybody carrying it before you found it? Uh, was no. Was it just laying there? It was just laying there. Uh, give me an, uh, an intellect roll. I'm going to say difficulty 
two. I got a six. That is exactly what you needed to roll. He's lying to you. Can I intimidate him in some way to tell me a thing? Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, let's see. And it'll be he is, uh, he is, minus one difficulty. Minus one, so your difficulty is three. Okay. Uh, so you have to roll nine or better. And I rolled a 19. Yeah, he's like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You're so sure, what do you you're do? You're sure that you didn't see anybody with the backpack. I, I saw a young kid. So how do you intimidate him? Like, how do you press this guy? So you rolled a 19. Push him against the brick wall. Um, one thing oh, I, I'm, I, I'm definitely pushing him against the wall. Okay, so uh, there are major, there are minor and major effects. On, on a nat 19, you get a minor effect. On a natural 20, you get a major effect. Um in like, like narrative systems where you get a little bit more narrative control over what happens. Minor effect is something like, you know, he, uh, he would stop being an issue. Uh, 20 is he becomes actively helpful, that sort of thing. So what do you want to have happen? Um, well, I'm going to push him against the wall and I'm going to exhale my cigarette smoke in his face. And I'm going to ask him to... Um, try very hard to remember if he saw anybody with the backpack and if he did and what, where did they go? Yeah. He's, he's like, I'm so sorry. Um, he gives you the backpack back. Uh, I feel bad for leaving this little kid hide and dry in the city. Look, she was, uh, he describes Patty. Um, mm -hmm. uh, red hair, but, freckles, um, usually wears it in a ponytail, kind of curly, I, very I, adorable. I, Look, I, I, I read her diary, um, which is in the backpack. So oh, gross. What the hell? <laughs> Look, it's... Wow, this guy's a dick. He it's, ate, New, it's New York, you know. He read yeah, her diary, Jesus. ate all of her food, and ran her, her, her Walkman's batteries down to dead. Um, oh, fuck this guy. Uh, uh, yeah, she... His diary, that's and just he's a like, violation. Well, she knows... Um, she knows Sean, uh, and that's not good. Wait, who? who is who is Sean? Where can I find him? Um, I I know that she. Well, I know she went uh, northwest in the Upper West Side. Um. And um. Like. I <laughs> if she's going to Sean's place, um, or. I mean, I don't know what's up. He's, he doesn't live that way. Um, I don't know. Um, there's a lot of stuff in there I don't really get. And so, but I know she went that way. Um, Did and anything that, in her diary say, no, I'll read it. Never mind. Yeah. So as you're looking through, she also has a black book. Um, the, the book has, is, is a contacts book. It has a, a bunch of phone numbers, um, including yours. Uh, is and it has number several numbers there? listed for Robert under various listening listings, including Rob's dad, um, Rob's uncle and, uh, Rob in the city and Rob home. She's, she said he was going to get, uh, he was going to his dad's place. I feel like we should call that number. See if we can figure out where oh, it is we can if we can call maybe we can call information and get the address oh that's a good idea all right uh we called the information line as a guy uh, phil comes up behind them guys 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 yeah as it's ringing ring ring amazing news they had the little cherry pies <laughs> But that's not the best news. The best news is they had big cherry pies. So you can have the little ones if you want. Um, and she's what was, at the what, pay phone. What did the, like, the guy say about the backpack? Well, we're trying to figure that out right now. We're calling information to see if we can figure out the address. Okay, you, you, you going to eat this pie? Cameron kicked my headphone I'll, cord out. Sure, I'll, I'll have the small pie, but give me a minute. We can role play over, Ryan. As long as you're not, anybody. as long as you're not calling attention to yourself. <laughs> no, give me a minute. I'll I'll have the cherry pie in a second. Okay, ring ring. Because you know ring. they don't they don't make these outside of the city. Well, I don't know where they make them, but they don't have them in in like you know the the convenience stores outside of the city. I know, and that's the good stuff, right? It is the good stuff. Yeah. 
<laughs> All right. Sorry ring, about ring, that. Ring, 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 ring. You know, I gotta say ring, the big ring. pie. I mean, it's good because it's big, ring, but ring, it's the, the ring, proportions uh, are not the same. Yeah. So, uh, ring, ring to the uh, information line so we can get the address, please. And it's not quite as chewy. Ring, yeah. Ring. You call. You dial zero. Great. Um. And uh, so, yeah, they're you know they ask you what would you like to look up, and you you're looking for the address tied to which phone number? Uh, Robert's dad. I think you want, uh, I think you want the one in the city. Um, she says that's mm -hmm. that number is disconnected. Okay, what about insert Robert's uncle here? No, I think uh, you want the, the one in the city. Uh, that's a dinette. That is... And is there a name associated with the number? Let's see. I'm trying to find one for Sean. Oh, oh it's a diner called uh, Dinette. 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 Okay. Dinette. Okay. Um, and then I try the other numbers and ask for the names associated because I'm trying to find Sean. Uh, the Rob in the city is the payphone that you're standing at. I told um, you. You that. would have figured that out. I told you that one would be important. Um, and then Rob home is uh, uh, matches up with a boundary bay um, uh, area code. So it wouldn't be in the city. Okay. I feel like the diner is our best bet. I think it's our only bet. Yeah, let's go there. And I think we start heading that direction, hang up the payphone, and she makes a mark uh, around this payphone on the map. Sweet. Mm hmm All right. And, uh, yeah, it's interesting because they, so just to pull the curtain back a little bit, they give me a number of different locations, but not a... a an exact thread, which I, which I understand on how you all get there. It's like, yeah, if they have powers that can lead them to these places or if they think of other ways to look them up, but I uh, also, okay. So just to, uh, out of, or let's figure out the narrative here thing. We all know that we have powers. Like all of us mm -hmm. individually know that we have powers. Mm -hmm. We haven't formed any sort of fighting squad. Have we actually like, revealed our powers to each other yet well, or do you think yeah that's i think yeah i think so yeah yeah okay okay i wasn't sure if that was something that we had revealed to each other or if it was still a, like i haven't mm. talked to you about this yet but hey surprise i have powers well you would know because each of you has the glow well yeah we would know we have the glow but i don't know if they can see it you're, or if we you're like me it. but i'm not gonna let you know that i know you're like me <laughs> okay <laughs> no but it, yeah okay cool yeah. so we all know um, each other's powers okay cool cool yeah um yeah, so, uh, let's see. You do read through her diary? Courtney did, yeah. Courtney did. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. And I scroll on the, the first available blank page. Uh, Bill has a giant crush on you. So, uh, <laughs> Patty's backpack um, had uh, been cleaned out of its foods and supplies. You managed to get uh, the Walkman back from Mo. Uh, he tried to hide it, but... His name's uh, Mo. Yeah, the okay. homeless guy. Got it. Um, I did give him a pie, though. Uh, the Taking care the of backpack him. is purple and covered in pins and goo gauze, like plastic monster finger puppets and patches, all dominated <laughs> by a large Star Trek pin that says live long and prosper on it. We all played first edition together, didn't we? <laughs> well, I mean, at this point, it'd be second. Yeah. Unless, but unless you have all the grognards that just wouldn't switch. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> all right, go on. Um. Uh, let's see. All that's left inside is the diary, the black book, a pen, a brand new novelization of Star Trek four and some photos of her and Robert. Uh, her name is written in marker mm -hmm. on a patch sewn on the inside of the bag. Uh, though the diary is a bit disjointed and hard to follow. It's mo it's mostly concerns of her relationship with Robert. The last few entries are filled with concern over Robert's Robert's uncle, Sean, Robert's dad's drinking and some meeting that is supposed to take place in the future. Meeting. It's clear that some combination of these things are weighing on him, uh, weighing on Robert. Uh, and Patty desperately wants to help him, but he continuously keeps her out of it. Uh, one entry mentioned Robert's weird mask and his reticence <laughs> to talk about it. 
It also mentions his obsession with an old clicker-style TV remote control, which he carries everywhere with him. But we, we never got the hooju from looking at Robert. Nope. Okay. She n- only knows that Robert is in the city with his dad, nothing more. Why does he have a mask? I bet his mask is dumb. I haven't felt anything around him. Have you guys? Mm-hmm. No. Fucking poser. That's so weird. Maybe it's someone else's mask and, and the the remote is is something that they use? Did, that... the, did the Trans Am like change shape? <laughs> no. It was not in disguise. It was not mask. <laughs> Maybe it's that bald guy. M-A-S-K. Oh, no. No, it was not. I wasn't close enough to get a read on him, but there was a guy in the car. Maybe the mask is his. All right, we got to get to this place. Yeah, I could use some Greek eggs. (laughs) Head towards the diner. (laughs) All right, so uh, you head... um, You head to the diner. Mm -hmm. Uh, Let's see. Oh, and it's got her checkbook in there. Um, any any interesting checks written on that checkbook? No. Um. Uh. Well, I mean, if you if you if you're uh looking through it in the back, it looks like um, it's just a lot of withdrawals and cash. To cash. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um. Anything recent? Um. Like yeah. Today or yesterday? Uh. Yes. Uh, she seems to have taken out a couple hundred bucks. Hmm. Okay. It, it, that's it would, a lot for someone our age. Yeah. But that's you, a lot. I mean, she, uh, her, her family is pretty wealthy. Oh, okay. Then it's um, not unusual. Yeah. I mean, her okay. dad had a laser disc player. That's, this isn't, that's fair. Okay. Not, you know, when you can buy movies at what? What were laser discs? Fucking six hundred dollars a pop. Something ridiculous. Yeah. Jeez. Yeah. When you're buying six hundred dollar a pop movies to show on your projector in the basement, mm-hmm. with all of your uh, cherry, fucking Enterprise figurines, all of the refits, custom put together. Yeah. Okay. Got yeah. It. They're rolling. Duly noted. Um. Yeah. He probably makes like fifty thousand a year. It's. It's not a small amount by any stretch. No, not at that time. Absolutely not. No, it's, I mean, hey, that's like house is already paid off. Life's good. God, that's painful to hear. <laughs> <laughs> that's painful. Yeah. Mom doesn't have to work because he makes that much money. Stop. <laughs> different, very different time. Um, we just start trying hard enough. Yep. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh, yeah, yeah so too many bootstraps laying around. Um, on your way there, you pass by the Comet, a movie theater, and uh, uh, you're getting some weird vibes from coming from there. Like it's starting it's to playing. that movie theater's like me. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Star Trek. Oh God. Okay. Do, I don't, I'm not going to Google 1986 movies, but it's Star Trek four is the main attraction. Um, okay. We need to check inside Courtney. Um, when you go inside, you, uh, behind the ticket counter, There is a very important NPC. It is a plus one bazooka. No, it's not a. It's not a plus one bazooka. It's a plus oh, are you two sure about? Bazooka. Are you sure about that? It's a plus two bazooka. Oh. <laughs> Where? Now we make it a plus two. Oh. I approve. There we go. Um. You see. Uh, so there's a bunch of knickknacks behind the snack counter. Um, uh, there is a glowing <clears throat> xenomorph doll. 
like it we feel that radiation coming off of it oh yeah okay excuse me miss oh i'm sorry sir i'm sorry miss how much for the uh, xenomorph doll oh the what the the doll that one uh, oh the alien yeah yeah um on uh uh they're like 5 bucks I mean, I have five dollars. I, I, I didn't spend it all on pie. <laughs> <laughs> they were good pies, though. <laughs> my my friend would like to buy the the, the alien doll. All right, I uh, buy sure. The alien doll. Uh, you buy the alien doll. Looking at it, you realize that uh, holding it in your hand, um, Courtney, it's a plus one bazooka. If uh, if the doll. Plus one zero were, if the doll were kissed, the user would be overcome with feeling of lying of uh, the the need to lie down on clean sheets, um, and they can emit light from any portion of their body at an intensity <laughs> up to that of a normal flashlight for six hours. You must think the light what? shines out of your ass, boy. <laughs> the user can turn this effect completely off or on at will. But why? <laughs> Do you get the reference? I put I put I put it on the wrong alien on purpose. I'm so confused. ET. You want to wrap up in sheets and glow. Oh my <laughs> god, stop. Holy shit. Okay, that's funny. <laughs> yep. Uh roll a d6 for me, Molly. <sighs> I got a 6. So you have a level 6. So this is a very powerful uh, glowing xenomorph cipher. That's fucking so amazing. That, okay, uh, like, I don't want to be that guy, but who is making these things? <laughs> I don't know. Probably someone who really likes <laughs> comic books and sci-fi. Uh, also, uh, in the counter... There is a there is a uh, glowing bunch of pop rocks, um, and you mix those with coke, then you get the bazooka. Uh, and <laughs> a and a set of glowing fruit roll ups. I'll grab the pop rocks. Roll a d six for me. I got a two. You grab the thing of Pop Rocks. This strawberry flavored candy fizzes with carbonation when eaten. If eaten, the user feels a strong urge to urinate and they can see the thoughts of any prodigy in sight as if those thoughts were floating up and out of their head like a teletype of what they were thinking. What is this game? <laughs> so you, you pop the Pop Rocks. You have Then you have to pee real bad, but you can see people's thoughts popping up out of their head. Only and while I'm peeing? Or, like, afterwards, after I relieve myself. You get the strong urge to urinate. You don't have to. I don't have to. How long does that last? Um, Is it until I go to the bathroom? It's it's basically a scene, you know? Okay. Uh, during, during that current scene. I look really disappointed okay. because I like Pop Rocks a lot, but I'll get the Fruit Roll Up because Fruit Roll Ups are good. Roll a D6. Remember... Remember, That's Phil, a six. You have to chew the fruit roll up. You have. You'll choke like last time. You have level six fruit roll ups. <laughs> if the fruit roll up is eaten, you are overcome with momentary feeling of food poisoning, and you gain the ability to burn any other memento you're holding to restore a number of uh, points equal to uh, the memento's level. So you can burn another magical item in in your possession or someone else's to uh, to heal. After eating the fruit roll-ups, but you feel sick. It literally tastes like burning. <laughs> oh, Eddie, got eye burgers. Oh. Okay. Made me feel like I have to pee, but I can see the thoughts of other prodigies. Yeah? Yep. Cool. <laughs> this fruit roll-up is made of limbus. <laughs> <laughs> but like vomit limbus. Uh, <laughs> uh, 
All right. So now that we've handed out a, a little bit of magic. Oh, plus one bazookas. Yep. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Let's see. Hold on a sec. How are you guys for time? Um, probably need to go soon. It's corner after 10. Yeah. So you all see, while you're all hanging out. Hold out, on. Pick up. While you're all hanging out out there, uh, you see Courtney coming out in between showings of watching Star Trek Four for the 30th time. Courtney or No, Patty, I'm sorry. Patty. Patty. God damn it. I keep looking at Molly across the table. Um, Instead, you can look at Eddie in his onesie. <laughs> <laughs> Molly is holding a cat in a onesie. Uh, yeah, so Patty comes out. She's like, hey, guys. Immediately go up and hug her, and I'm looking at her just saying, are you okay? What ha what happened? Did you did you find Robert? What, what's no, going no, on? No, no, I was going to go see him at the diner because I knew he had to be there tomorrow. Yeah, but you had us really worried. You made it sound uh, like there was something really big going on. Well, they were they are going to do the movie overnight here because it's a special showing, and I figured I could. I had enough money to watch it. It's third times if needed i was gonna be fine here's your backpack oh my god you found my backpack i mean i didn't I, I didn't i didn't i didn't i didn't find a backpack they i mean yeah, it was that they found they found the backpack actually he he did and shut it was up he hits, really... hits her really hard on his shoulder <laughs> that's so you thank you definitely turn to the last page because i think he left you a message uh, Ooh. oh my god did you read my diary no I didn't read it, no, it was it was it was already open when the uh yeah when i'm we not found it. i'm not mad look it there look, um i'm really glad you're here weird um but yeah i have to go to the diner tomorrow that's where i know he's gonna be he's meeting with his uncle sean she says making air quotes immediately look to the other two i'm not uncle sean no <laughs> Just... and look it's it's not going to be good. Oh, that's significant. Okay, yeah. Yes. Yeah, god damn it. Hey, I... Courtney, Uncle Sean. <laughs> <laughs> She's like... Courtney and, and Nat look to each other like, yeah, duh. But if you guys want to watch the movie with me, it's not going to be for, like, till tomorrow afternoon. I mean, Sure. I'll watch a movie. We have time. Yeah. What the hell? I could, I, yeah, it, I could, I, okay. She's yeah, like, I could be okay with that. Oh my God. I, and it's about whales. At which point she takes you in and watch, and you guys watch a voyage home. Her, her like third showing at this point, because she's been camping out in the movie theater because, it's, you know, she's not old enough to rent a hotel room. So this is this is her lodging for the next like sixteen hours that she needed to be oh in New York. Oh my god! Um, she has a mountain, like, you know, clearly seventeen year old logic. If I just hole myself up in a movie theater with a mountain of candy and a fat stack of Benjis, so I keep buying movie tickets, um, I got. She's got a place she can sleep. <laughs> she can lay sleep in the chairs. She got a, a bathroom she can go to, and she's watching a movie that she's never going to get tired of. Oh, my God, sweetie, no. <laughs> it sweetie. was a foolproof plan in her mind. I have always identified with Mr. Spock. This movie is so good. Yep, and we'll pick it up next time. <laughs> and on that note... We probably actually won't pick it up on that next time. That's fair. The uh, we, we we will probably be picking up with uh, Ratbaggers because we have Yay. let that, that lie fallow for far too long uh, on Monday next. And I don't know when that'll go up on the podcast, but when it goes up, Ratbaggers will be next. We will so, we will come back to this though. I didn't hate it. I didn't. I wasn't. I didn't. That. I didn't despise it. I'm enjoying the storytelling of it thus far. Please. Yeah. Uh, playbettercast at gmail.com playbettercast at gmail.com at playbettercast on the Twitters and the Instagrams please check out our store that is a store of Cafe Press Cafe Press <laughs> Play Better Production. it's a dot com drop <laughs> massive cash there for a minute, I thought you forgot the word for store, and then I realized you just forgot where our store was and hit your check mug out, as aggressively as possible. Check out our garrison. <laughs> <laughs> the 
Cafe Press. Um, and please follow us on Facebook. We're on YouTube. We're on Twitch. We're everywhere. Why haven't we made a The Word is Garrison shirt yet? <laughs> I'm not looking through a thousand fonts again. Not again. Because not after Baltimore bitch face. Because I am super picky about fonts <laughs> is basically the answer. <laughs> I'm Cameron McNary. I'm Mon McLennan. I'm Narissa Hart. And I'm Ryan Seguin. Play well. <laughs>